Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and welcome to the 30 days of automation testing with Selenium, guys. This is day six, and this is this is where we are we are going to create our own automation framework with Selenium, guys. Today we are going to learn about how to handle alerts, confirmation box, pop-ups in Selenium, right? So these are one of the important concepts and that you should know. And we are going to cover how to handle them. We're going to cover some live example, live code in front of you. We're going to cover two more important topic, which is interview question related to this topic, especially which is handling the alerts, confirmation box, and pop-ups. And you're going to have one task for the day that you should be doing because. If you are doing it, trust me, this is one of the thing that uh, if you are following the 30 days challenge, you will definitely learn and master the automation with Selenium, right? So let's get started. Let's learn how to handle the alerts, confirmation box pop-ups in Selenium, right? So let me make myself little smaller. And before we start, guys, as we always say, if you are interested in learning, rest assured, with framework creation, you can go to this link, which will be in the description also. Make sure you check it out. 30 days, trust me, you're gonna learn how to create your own automation framework in Rest Assured, step by step, even as a complete beginner. Even if you are a new beginner, if you are a manual tester or an automation tester with a beginning experience, you want to ex uh, gain expertise in automation testing, you can definitely check out the second link, which is the code.scooter.com/automation. 30 days of automation challenge. 30 days of what? Uh, the third link is, which is most important one, which is 30 days of API testing. If you are beginner. Want to learn how to do proper API testing with Postman? 30 days we're gonna learn. You can check out the link, right? So let's get started. How about the alerts, right? So first of all, let me. Uh, what is alert in Selenium, right? So alert is basically whenever it's basically you can say web-based pop-ups, right? So they provide certain kind of information. For example, if you have seen, uh, if you have go, if you are using any kind of a IRCTC, which is Indian Railway. Uh, website right uh, they have this kind of information that whenever you click something or some kind of validation is there they will give you this pop up right so let me show you how this looks like uh under focus yes so i am a js alert right something like this with the okay button they will just give you some kind of information right where they will have just one accept button right so this is actually called as alert and uh, many times when we are basically automating any kind of a web application right uh, you will encounter these kind of errors uh, these kind of pop ups right and you should know how to handle them properly because if not your test case will start failing right so you should know how to do that so we're going to learn how to do that also right uh, there is another one which is uh, let me show you this thing which is a confirmation pop up which will basically say okay and cancel you can cancel this information and okay it basically means for example if you are able if you are accepting this term okay or cancel in that case right so that you can do similarly we have third type of it which is uh, not so common right now it will basically take certain input also right for example it can right now it's taking some random value and it's basically confirmational plus some certain kind of input so these three important alerts you should know and how to handle them so let's see how you can handle them properly right uh so first one is called as normal pop up or a js pop up which is javascript pop up second is called as confirmational pop up which is called as confirmation box third is called as prompt right so how do you handle it's very straightforward selenium provides a already pre made functions for this so you you have to use driver dot switch to switch to dot alert right so whenever you will see these kind of alert you just use driver dot switch to and dot alert and after that you can use get text method accept it dismiss is so dismiss directly you can use dismiss function let me use this presentify annotation right so you can get the text you can accept it you can dismiss it also if you are uh, if you have a prompt where you will you will require certain kind of input you can use a send keys method make sense right so uh, this is one of the easiest way how you can handle any kind of alert any kind of a js alert the three types right so let's see the live demo and before that i will suggest you this is the link is in description this is a cheat sheet for how to handle any kind of a pop up right so let's jump into the code right so let me put myself so i have already prepared a code for you i don't want to i write in front of you but i'll explain you every bit of it right it's very straightforward so we're going to handle this thing so let's open the javascript so this is one of the dummy website that we are using and it contains all three uh, javascript alerts right so let me put myself here and if you see we have the first alert which is simple way which is simple i am js alert 
second is uh, click on the confirm so if you if you click okay if you click cancel it will basically says uh, according to it here if you just type uh, uh, okay i haven't write my correct name okay <laughs> like no problem promote so if you say promote it will be in the pro promote right so we can verify the input also uh, this is actually if you see let me open the developer tool okay resume i don't want to cancel it uh oh man okay so this is actually a results i i know the id of it so let's do one thing let's do like this right <laughs> yeah so it is id right so we can directly fetch the result and check it out right so i have prepared a uh, demo for you so first one is very basic one which basically what we are doing here is that we are creating uh, basically we are creating a web driver object and we have added a weight first right because we want uh, this is one of this is actually explicit weight that we have added if you haven't if you don't know how we have done it just watch out the previous video what you need to do is that you need to create a instance of a web driver class uh, where you need to mention that drive basically mention the driver as well as the time for how much time you want to wait for it and now you can use certain kind of a conditions expected conditions right so what we have done is that we have create click the first button which is this one then after that we are basically waiting for alert to be present right so this is how you gracefully handle any kind of alert we will wait until the alert is present and this will return a alert right and after that we can get the text and we will basically print it out and we'll basically use the another method which is called as dot accept make sense right so this is the first one and if you want to work with second one which is again simpler way you just have to click it and click ok right so how you can do that just click the click on the second button right so we have an a child of two uh we're gonna wait check uh if the alert is present or no sometimes it will take certain time right and now we need to use driver dot switch to alert so after clicking this we are basically switching to this alert and after that we can get the text also and we can click on accept so basically clicking on accept so that's how you can do that so code isn't already available don't worry you can download and try out right prompt similar to the confirmation box uh, you have to just check check the expected condition alert is present or not switch to alert alert dot send key so now if you do this you can send keys here and whatever for example i have sent promote and you can accept it and you can print the result so whatever the result you clicked okay you can print it and after that driver dot quit right so let's run it and let's see how uh if it is running fine or not right so uh code is already available make sure you try out the all the threes because these are one of the important concepts right and you should know it guys if you haven't uh read or not able to implement try out this example make sure you know how uh how basically these things work right okay so why this right so everything works fine it means i am alert i am confirmed version both or you have entered promote so everything works fine it means it is working fine right so how this is how you basically handle it uh, right and here uh, so basically there are two important question that you should know how to handle confirmation box you have to use driver dot switch to dot alert and after that you can use that you can use signed keys you can okay for oh, clicking on okay you can use accept you for dismiss you, you can use dismiss how to handle the basic auth which is one of the important concept you can use direct method which is direct url and uh, i would suggest you to go and google around put it in the comment how to handle a basic auth pop up so you will see basic auth pop up is basically how this is how it look like let me show you okay this is wrong link and uh, right so if you go to this website right uh, they have an example of a basic auth so basic auth right so if you click on this button it will ask you this username and password this is one of the important thing how you should handle it uh, i'll give you this example uh, if you are entering correct username and password it will basically say that you are you are entered a proper credential so how you can handle it it is very simple way you can use admin hyphen admin at the rate right if you do that it will works the same way right so you can use directly url by passing that admin at username password and at the rate and after that your website with the basic code it will work fine so this is how you can basically give answer to any kind of interview who is asking this question right uh 
another way is basically you can do the same thing with uh, username and password using extension method and again that is uh, i i will uh, basically say that just uh, go to stack overflow and search for this answer how to handle basic auth right and you will learn a lot how to handle using the extension support right so task for the today is uh, make sure you have created any kind of a blog where you are writing your journey for this 30 days for the sixth uh, day you have to write how to handle alerts three different type of alerts how to handle them create screenshots and work around with this example make sure you do that i'll see you in the next video if you want to learn more about the software testing go to scrolltest.com and try out other 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 playlist sections right thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the day 7 we'll learn more about it right all right bye